Wake up. Wake up. Hello, everybody. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Omogimura YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, it is just a simple get ready with me. I'm going to an event at Samantha's Bistro. You guys would have already seen the event on my Insta stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I mean, what are you doing? What are you really doing? What are you really doing? Samantha's Bistro is having a media brunch and I was invited and then after that I have a couple of errands to run. I need to go find out the price of shipping to some various countries because apparently I have orders from Ghana. So I just want to do a quick light beat, nothing too serious, nothing too fancy. Do let me know what you think of these kind of videos. I do like watching Get Ready With Me, but I'm not sure if people like watching my Get Ready With Me because I don't talk a lot <laughs> when I do my makeup. I'm usually listening to music and today's video is not going to be a voiceover. So I'm just going to be talking you guys through what I'm doing and just talking you guys through like what is on my mind and stuff. This video also includes hair and the outfit, so you guys like seeing stuff like that and I hope you enjoy it. Before we begin today's video, please do not forget to subscribe to the Omogimara YouTube channel. We are 2,000 subscribers strong. Come on, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Many of you are watching my videos but are not subscribed. I don't know why. What is it? What can I do to make you guys subscribe to my channel? Tell me. Tell me, you know, just sound off in the comment section below let me know i promise i'll not hold it against you subscribe to my youtube channel and also click on the notification bell so whenever i upload a new video you will get a notification if you got a notification for this video do let me know in the comment section below and you will be part of the notification squad which makes me so very happy without wasting much of your time let's get started in today's video bit of skincare this is the Nikkei O Mar Maracuja and Yangu soothing oil I literally just got this I think two days ago the company that makes sheer moisture reached out to me and said they want to introduce me to their skincare line which is Ni Ni Yeko uh, so I got an oil I got a face polish I got a cleansing balm which I can't wait for you guys to see the review I'm gonna be doing a review of that so it's just a simple green bottle um, or is it a clear bottle and the oil is green? I'm not sure. It comes with this really cute stopper with this cute dropper, which I really, really like. Take some oil. Ooh, it's green. The oil is green. Do the Instagram dropping. So they said five drops. I'm just going to lightly massage that down on my face, into my neck. Oh, it smells really nice. I really like the smell. Ooh. That smells so good. All right, it's time for brows. I hate doing my brows on camera. Oh God. I've used a lot of brow products in my days as a beauty blogger, influencer, guru, sort of thing. But I have noticed that my best brows are with this pencil. This pencil gives me the best brows. I don't know what it is. Taking my pencil and first thing I'm doing is I'm drawing like an extended line to where my brow should begin. So your brow should begin where your eye begin, like here. I draw a line here, so. and then on the top I draw a line where my actual brow begins so I'm kind of like drawing an outline and after filling in the entire brow I usually just take a spoolie and make sure everything is nice and blended you know then I'm gonna take some concealer this is the LA girl pro conceal in the shade toffee Then what I like to do is really, really get to the bottom where the concealer and the powder and the and my brow meets and blend that area out. I also like to blend out my brows with my finger, like that area. I like to blend out my finger. Now to finish it up, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara. Then just apply a nice helping of that all over my brow. All right, so I have finished one brow. Let me go do the other brow and I'll be right back. All right, brows are done. It took a while, but they're done. So I'm gonna just take the excess concealer that's on the back of my hand and apply it to my eyelid. This is going to be my eyelid primer slash base. And I'm not gonna set it because I have been not setting it recently and I have been liking the result. The eyeshadows that I use stick better to 
the concealer that's just sticky like that. Today's eyeshadow palette is going to be the very simple, very beautiful, very wonderful HBS Beauty Star Eye and Brow Palette. I love this palette because it's very, very simple and just straight to the point. So first I'm going to take the lightest shade in the palette and take my big fluffy brush and put this all over my eyes. Then I'm going to go into the second lightest shade with another fluffy brush, except this like a smaller one. And this is going to be my crease color. I'm going to go back with that first brush so I can blend out the edges because it's already looking a bit choppy then taking the same brush but the other shade the third darkest shade or third lightest shade I'm going to take that shade and apply it all over my lid and I'm using a fluffy brush to apply this because I wanted to have a soft diffused look if I applied it with a regular packing brush it's going to look very harsh but I'm just applying this with like a nice fluffy brush so it's like nice and soft and diffused and then last but not least i'm going to take my crease brush and dip lightly into the black just very lightly i'm going to pop it right here into the outer crease i'm going to use some swirling motions to blend it out and that is it yo eye look is done because we have such a simple eye look i want to do some wing liner but i'm going to be doing a baby wing this is the yanga beauty carbon black liquid liner i love this stuff i got it i think two weeks ago or a week ago i went to the store to go and buy it their store is really pretty i love the younger beauty store in Nikki. for mascara i'm gonna be using the zara cosmetics lengthening mascara all right it's time to move on to the face we're done with the eyes instead of using my regular zara primer i'm gonna be using the black opal true color perfecting primer this is in the shade dark and i like using this primer because it's going to give me like a glowy Base. Again, I'm going for a very natural look today, not very gang 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 like that. I just want a really nice, easy look. Today's foundation is the Clinique Even Better Makeup with SPF 15. I use the shade Clove. This is not a full coverage um, foundation. I would love to say concealer. I'm using my damp beauty sponge from Pearl Luxury to apply this to my skin. It is very lightweight. It's matte, but like not like matte matte it's very natural also it's kind of like skincare i did a foundation review and wear test of this foundation and the box or the website said it was really good for evening out your skin tone and things like that i don't use this foundation every day to know if it has done that for me but i do like the idea of like foundation that helps your skin for today's concealer i'm going to be using the wet n wild concealer in the shade dark cocoa the shade range of this concealer needs to be extended like how can a shade of dark cocoa look like this i don't think dark cocoa deserves to look like this i love how i said i'm doing like a natural beat and here i am going all out with foundation and concealer here's something exciting i've been doing i've been cream contouring i never used to cream contour i used to just powder contour but black opal gifted everybody this shade of um ebony brown in their powder foundation their pore perfecting powder foundation so i'm taking this brush and dipping it into the foundation and this is gonna last me a long time because i don't contour that much i'm just gonna apply it to my forehead apply it under my cheekbones I only cream contour my forehead and my cheekbones. I don't cream contour my nose. And blend out the contour first. The contour dries down very, very quickly. Also, this gives my concealer the opportunity to set a little bit so I can get a little bit more coverage out of it. And I'm going to take the other side of the sponge, the side that I do use to contour with, to blend my contour with and blend out the concealer. So now that everything is blended in, I'm just going to take my beauty blender and press everything in to my skin i'm going to be using the makeup revolution luxury powder in banana to set my concealer areas this banana powder i really do not like the packaging of it like where am i supposed to put it where now i'm going to take my powder brush and brush away the extra powder under my eyes because i have very dry under eyes and i don't have my favorite setting spray today <laughs> to set my contour areas i'm going to be using mocha from the maybelline clear smooth all in one powder there's a shade mocha so doing a cream contour and then setting with the powder contour just makes your contour look fantastic then i'm going to take this angled brush and just rub it right by the sides of my nose to add like a little bit of like shape and contour to it taking the butts of my 
blending sponge and pressing the powder and blending it into the skin. All right, so it's time for blush. I'm gonna be taking the blush from the Terracotta Four Seasons Bronzer. This is my all-time favorite blush. It's so pink, but at the same time, it's so beautiful on me. It's not like so pigmented that you see it like, oh my God, I have blush on. It just looks very natural. And if I notice I put a bit too much blush on, I just like do a quick, I press it in. It just adds like a really nice radiant flush to your skin. And I feel like as women of color, we don't like to wear blush because we're scared we'll look like clowns. All you have to do is find the blush that suits you. For highlights, I'm gonna be using the Yanga Beauty Candid Glow Highlight in the shade Porkish. I don't know, I think this is the first time I'm using this highlighter in a YouTube video like this. I have never used it. These highlighters are absolutely gorgeous. Like, I won't lie. I don't think I need another highlighter in my life. This and the Teos Cosmetics highlighter, like that's all I need in my life. Guys, I'm not making this shit up. This is so beautiful. Ugh, it's so finely milled. So it doesn't, like now it looks like just glitter sitting on top of my face. But wait until I blend it out. You are going to absolutely love it. I'm just getting my sponge and I'm just going to blend it in. And you guys will see how beautiful it looks. Like it's just gorgeous. Can you see that glow? Now for my nose, I'm just going to brush and blend away the excess powder. Then I'm going to take whatever is remaining on the brush and just rub it down my nose now to set everything in place i'm going to be using the black opal true color soft velvet finishing powder this is one of my favorite mattifying powders it's between this and the maybelline fit me loose finishing powder those two powders are amazing and they're great for if you're on a budget i wonder if they have this powder in a banana form i feel like this powder in a banana form would be so so beautiful just a light dusting and this is gonna be all for the areas that you know you you thought you applied something like maybe the places like over here where you didn't apply any, any concealer any contour just to finish off I need the eyes I need to put some mascara on my bottom lashes even if you don't put any eyeshadow under your eyes I implore you to apply mascara because it's going to open up your eyes your eyes are gonna look big and wide for the lips i am going to be using a combination of zarin and guerlain perfect mix of high and low for the lip line i'm going to be using the zarin lipstick pen in the shade maxim for lipstick i'm going to be using the guerlain sheer lipstick i love the packaging this packaging is so luxurious and so beautiful i'm going to be using this shade i think this is 21. what i like about this combo is that maxim is very dark and edgy and the lipstick is very sheer so they kind of play with each other and they mellow each other out so it doesn't look like a a, a grungy lip it looks more like a, a sheer you know it's just a little bit more natural a little bit more pretty that's the way i can describe it and then to finish it all off i'm going to be using the la girl pro setting spray this is my second favorite setting spray you guys already know my favorite setting spray so i'm going to wait for this to dry a little bit i need to go wash my hands and then i'm going to come back and do my hair i got my basket of hair clippings right here <laughs> i keep them in a basket because i feel like it's an easier way for me to just deal with all of them i don't have like a mannequin or like a place I can keep them but I keep them in this cute basket that Damian Abi gave me so I've already done a video about these clip-ins before so you guys already know what it's all about and I really like these clip-ins because they look so nice so usually when I do my hair I just rub through them just to get rid of any tangles and stuff but it hardly ever tangles like I just I just like to touch the hair so and sometimes some particles and dirt can get on them so I just you know shake it and if you're wondering these um clipping extensions are from natural girl wigs they have these very beautiful ombre crochet extensions that i'm thinking of getting for myself because i'm looking for a, a nice protective scalp to do clips are secure they are not going anywhere they're like strapped into my head
So this is the outfit I'm wearing today. This is a denim dress that I got while thrifting in Ushudi. I think, um, I cannot remember when I got it, but this is what I'm wearing today. I really, really like it. It's really simple. You can wear it with a pair of sneakers. You can wear it with a pair of heels. You know, it's a perfect high low you can dress it up you can dress it down you can walk around in sandals or slippers and this so yeah this is the outfit i am wearing today all right guys so that is it for today's video this is the look the makeup the hair and the outfit let me know what you think of this look and of this video in the comment section below please do not forget to subscribe to the omogimura youtube channel click on the notification bell so you always get notifications give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and do not forget to be awesome i'll see you guys in my next video bye